and it's a foggy morning i'm about to get out on this river and wow the water is all the way up maybe even a little higher than normal i can't yeah it's really high and murky <laughs> thought it might happen uh, i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing there's definitely gonna be more current so i gotta be a little worried about that Oh, it's just time for a little River Wars tournament. And uh, we do this every year uh, with a group I fish with. And I get to pick where I want to go. And this is a spot that I came last year, won River Wars with like, I think I had 55 inches with three fish. Anyways, I won and I was like really confident coming in. Um, this year, I'm not as confident. And because I pre-fished here the other day and I only caught a couple fish. And then we've had two days of like th heavy thunderstorms, maybe three days. The water is really high. Um, this water is controlled by dams, but there's a lot of streams pouring in. So the water's gonna be high and murky, which sometimes that's better. It just makes it harder to paddle around. So I'm gonna let it get a little bit lighter before I get in, but let me go ahead and get my kayak unloaded and get ready. I'm really hoping to do good. I I've been doing some tournaments recently and I've not been doing too well. It's been, I've been placing like, average not even like high but i just haven't been catching a lot of fish so this place has a lot of fish and hopefully to get some today Oh, good. Well, this river that I'm going to, at least this one's clear. I don't know if that should help me out, I think. I got one. Oh, there's a little fish right there. All right. Missed a little one there. Oh, that's a solid fish. Got one on the crankbait. I don't know what this animal is, but what is, what is squealing? If you know what that is, I don't know what is going on. Something told me to bring my crankbait, especially if I'm like, if I, if I was gonna have trouble finding fish or if they were gonna be, if the water was a little murky or something or and um, I got this little uh, crawl pattern on a fritz side and uh, we got our first fish. And the water is murky and I'm going up a different river. I'm at like where two rivers come together, but the other river is not as murky. So, but it's not a giant, but it's a good one. And with all these thunderstorms, plus with the, with the, with my tournament history recently, I just am want to catch some fish. So I'd love to catch some giants, but I just, I'm hoping to just catch keepers, keeper size fish. And that's a, our first keeper today. All right, you hold still so I can get a picture. And our first one today is 14 and three quarters. Fourteen three quarter. I'm happy with that. Not a giant, but I'd love to get three. If I got three of those, and then at least that's a limit. We're only going for three, and then just hopefully catch some fish and have some fun today. And I'll be happy with that. But there's, like I said, last time I was here, I won. I caught a twenty incher and eighteen, and I think like a seventeen or something, plus a bunch of other fish. It was on fire that day. It's just totally different. Everything's different, but there's always fish in here. So this is a place I'm confident in. I know there's fish, so it gives me just more confidence. And a lot of the other tournaments I go to, 
I just kind of wing it. I never, I don't really practice and I kind of don't do a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, being somewhere familiar is uh, it's a big plus. That was a giant. I saw it for a second. That was a monster fish. Oh my goodness. I don't even, that was a weird, but I don't even know what happened because that was a weird bite. Oh, he might not have even ever had the bait and the hook in its mouth. He pulled the worm off. I think he hit it when I was reeling in. That's a, that was a big, big bass. I thought it was a big one. Well, there's my second fish. Oh. I think I'm throwing my lure up like that. Little spot on the yum dinger. Alrighty. I've been going through a few different lures, crankbaits, chatterbaits, but um, I had that one big fish bite the yum dinger, and then I caught one there. I don't know, this is kind of a bend that I like to fish. And after I fish here, I don't know, I'm gonna Either go up a little bit further, maybe go back down. I got plenty of time today, so I'm not, not trying to pressure, but um, I just want to do good in this turn. I just want to do well. And just figure out these fish. I want to figure out something. Mm -hmm. That's a big fish. Oh, he's got me on rocks. He's got me on rocks. Wait, I might be a catfish. It went swirling kind of weird. Hold on. Hope it's a uh, big old bass, but it's... What is going on? What is it? This is a catfish. Uh, I was like, it hit kind of weird. <laughs> Little channel cat on the yum dinger. He was right off the bank. I don't catch a lot of catfish on lures, and some people they catch them all the time, but I think it's just location and like different areas. Like obviously they're in here, and I probably only caught this one because the water is murky. That's a <laughs> pretty little guy. All right, let's see if we can get a bass now. A fish? That's a fish. I got a fish. Oh, he's not a big one, but he's in the current. Oh, there's another one with him. There's two or three with him. He might be a 12 incher. Let's get out of the current a little bit. About 11 incher. Oh, there's a good one. Is he on there? Oh, he stopped. Oh, he is on there. What the world is this fish doing? Oh, well, he's off. That's two little, they were both small. Two from the same area. Let's try to work this area for a while then. Oh, here's a nine o'clock update. It's 9.15. The tournament started at 6. I got out here like 6.30, 6.40, so. I've uh, been fishing two and a half hours or so. We got till, really till one. The tournament's till two, but I, at one o'clock I gotta start heading my way back because I got about an hour and 15 minute drive to the meetup. So I'm gonna have to leave a little bit early. I went up here and 
explore this creek. I've been working my way up um, upstream the whole time on this river. And I've caught three, two little ones, I guess. Maybe, maybe I hooked four. I think I've had four or five total bites and I haven't really put anything really together. I'm gonna try to continue going upstream. There's another deep hole. I don't know if I can get to it. It's a lot of paddling, but if once I get to this, like if I can get to that one more deep hole, it'll be a little easier and I can float down for a little ways. So I, I still think I'm gonna catch some fish. I'm just trying to put it together. Always a fish right here. Always. Get this, get this. Where's my net? Don't come off on me. Keep in the net. Yes, there's a keeper. That feels good. Well, I just hooked me a pretty good one right there. Went to, oh, he was barely hooked. On the, uh, I just switched to the buzz bait. I'm, this this is the area where fish hang out, so I like I know there's fish here. The water's up, not too much, but it is up. It's coming down, I think. Um, it's it's a little murky, so I'm like I gotta start switching things up, try something, and got me a good one. So let's see, let's get him on the board, and get a picture. All right, that was 16 and three quarters. Go ahead and put him back. Going back down there, there's there's pieces of a rotten log floating down. That's I thought somebody jumped in up there. It was so loud. It was a log fell down, but that is really good that I got that fish. Not in board. Let's go ahead and put him in there. No way, a jet boat coming up here. I've never been out here when a jet boat's come this far. I got him. Oh, I thought he was a monster. He's a keeper though. He's a keeper number two, I think. <laughs> so weird just setting the hook on this. Um, Buzz bait, I'm just not used to it. Keeper number three, at least he's 12 and three quarters. I've been going back and forth with the buzz bait, working my way back. Went back to it, caught another one, so I don't know. I may have to keep it going. It's 10:40, almost 11. So we ain't got a lot of time left. We've got just over two hours. So I'm basically gonna go back through all this stuff I came up through. Got two hours to try to catch uh, gold. Right now is catch, um, I'd love to get a 15 incher. If I could get a 15 inch, I'd be a little bit happy. We caught a few fish today. Hasn't been on fire. But we still got, I mean, if I catch two or three more, it could make a big difference in the day.
Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's all right. Let's see, it's gonna be an upgrade, I think. I just threw the top water through there, and uh, it's a area where I've caught fish before, so I had to follow it up with the yum dinger. And uh, I fished through here earlier today, nothing but coming back through. Got me a solid one, looks like. That's a nice little spot. He should be better than 13. Let's see what he's gonna go. Oh yeah, he's 14. Oh, I think I got the fish. Oh, nice. I put my net right here. And I lay my board down where if the fish jumps, because a lot of times they'll jump that way. And he jumped right into the net, but I think I already got the picture. Pretty good. Put him back in. There's another one. Wow. That is the uh, opposite of a 18 or 19. <laughs> but wow, that's that's two right here pretty quick. That's a good sign. Look at that. He's probably not even six inches long. And he ate this uh, whole yum deer. All right. We need your big brother. Dude, another one. Holy cow, is this a big one? Dude, what is this? Oh, it's a, ni it's a nice bass. It's not a giant. I don't know, he might be all right. Dude, that was the next cast. What are we gonna be? 14 and a quarter? 13 and a half. Looks like we're gonna be sticking with that yum dinger for a little bit. Oh man, I'm currently seventh, but the guys in the lead, I am Almost 10 inches behind. I didn't even know I had that one at first. Oh, that might be an upgrade. Nope, he's about 14 inches. Well, we need a big one. But other than that, it's been a solid day of fishing. Caught fish, been interesting. One big one would be nice, but not bad. Holy cow, what do I have? Oh, I got a solid fish. I don't even know what just happened right there. I thought it was stuck on a tree. I think the fish bit it loose. What's a nice large mouth. Dude, he's barely hooked. I really don't even know how that works because I was trying to free it. Maybe as soon as I freed it, it bit. Maybe it was, maybe it freed my lure. I don't really know. It's a really healthy, pretty fish though. Very nice largemouth. 14 and three quarters, and maybe a couple inches, or maybe a little bit of an upgrade. I can't remember what my smallest one is. So he's a very fat one, 14 and three quarters. Yeah, it's a half inch upgrade. Go ahead and submit it. Oh, hey, fella. I don't know if he's going to upgrade. I threw that a little bit today, but I kind of just last little effort here, try to pull out one big one. And I don't know if this is gonna even help, but let's get another, he's a pretty good hit. And um, 
I've got a lot of solid fish today, which has been fun. Just haven't got that big one, but last week in the tournament, it was it was uh, horrible where I was just catching small little fish. It was a five fish limit, and I couldn't get five over 12 inches. Now he's gonna be too short, but he's a fat little guy. Yeah, he's about 14. Come back. Got just a couple more minutes to go. All right, it's time to go. I think we may be in the top 10. I was kind of hoping for a little higher than that. I think there's like 30 people in, but um, I don't know. We did what we could. We caught fish and it was a good day of fishing. So I was happy that we were catching fish consistently. So I got to load up here. Mosquitoes are back. Or the gnats or mosquitoes or something. Mm. This turned out being a really fun day of fishing, and this is like the my favorite tournament that I look forward to every year. It's called River Wars, and we get to go pick a river within a 100 mile area, usually of like around Knoxville. So there's a lot of distance, a lot of different rivers, and I usually try to pick something close to me uh, where I don't have to get up early and drive too far, because a lot of the places I go, I have to drive an hour and a half, two hours. And then um, also, this is a place where I've caught a lot of fish, so I had a lot of confidence. I knew there was fish in there, of course, everything was changed. Um, like I, I did some pre-fishing and didn't do very good, but I'm like, I'm still gonna go there. I still feel like it's a place that has fish. And it did, I caught a lot of fish. Couldn't get any of those big ones. I think I might've had one big one hit early on, like give a real soft bite, but I didn't land it. I ended up getting 13th out of 31. So, um, you know, there's a lot of, there, some people put some really good numbers up. They caught some really good fish. And um, that's kind of where I've been. I've had probably three videos that I ne didn't even make that I've been like dead in the middle or like even lower. Uh, but last the week, the week before this video, I actually did another river tournament on the Holston River. And I was really excited about it. Went with my buddy Patrick and um, ended up getting, I forgot what it was, like 18th or something like that out of like 30 something people. And I was really aggravated. Um, couldn't even catch five keepers. It was a five fish limit, but I did catch one really good smallmouth. I'll show you that. Yep. Good call. I think it's a good one. That's good fish. Good fish. Stay on, stay on. Where you at? Where you at? Oh man. Oh, yeah. this all. 17 inch really good good quality just good healthy overall fish that's good keeper number one on a spinnerbait but the good thing was out of that even though um i didn't do high i did high enough to qualify for a state tournament so i get to go to at least get to qualify for a state tournament through that through that tournament so some tournaments can qualify for other things uh there's some tournaments that if you do good in a bunch of them you can qualify for stuff so i just want to let you know i have been fishing some tournaments and i've fished a couple lake tournaments but i've been catching like three fish four fish total all day and they've just been very boring i just didn't want to make a video showing how boring that is i'll save that for winter when fishing gets tougher but um i was happy to actually catch a bunch of good fish uh, on this tournament and have fun time even though I didn't place it as high as I wanted I'm trying to get one like top five finish this year and um, we still got I think like two more if I want to do them uh, for this season that a couple days of rain messed a lot of things up tried to make adjustments try to catch fish caught them on several different lures and uh, had a fun day of fishing